Welcome to my Sydney Beachside apartment. So I just moved into this apartment a week ago into my new old pair roll and it's literally 15 minutes from the beach and it's just so much better than I expected and I'm so excited to show you. So let's go in. So first of all we're out on the deck. We don't have patio furniture yet and we have a barbecue there so this will be a nice place to chill when it's not raining of course but we also have another deck inside which is great right next to the bedroom we're in my living space for the first time i'm having a full-on living dining area situation because i've never had a living room separate from my bedroom before as you would have seen in my previous video i used to live in a tiny home so this is a big change i've got so much space and so much storage in this one and even have a dining area and full-on kitchen which we will move on to later so first of all showing you the couch this is a beautiful Italian leather couch, which is great because even if you stay in it, you can get it out very easily. And I've just put my book stand here, which was in my last house as well, and I literally bring it with me everywhere. This can be my reading spot because it right on looks to the beautiful reserve that we have there. And it's, it's just the best view. And right on here, I have my daily reset planner. This is a great place to just lay back on and you know, enjoy some peace and I even have some more books at the bottom and I have a mirror here which directly reflects the light um, so the space feels a little bit bigger as well and in the living room we have this old corner that they have here I think it was meant to be like a kitchen top or like a dining area kind of a situation but it's just an odd space because you can only fit one chair here so I just made it like my creative corner again that I had in my last house as well so I've got my vision board here, I've got my typewriter, some flowers to decorate the space, a candle, a terrarium. I'm growing, I'm trying to grow a terrarium in this place, but we'll see how that goes. It's going pretty well right now, but I'll have to keep watering it and make sure it doesn't die. And over here, I've just got a picnic basket with all the essentials like hand sanitizer, umbrellas, hats that you can just grab on your way out and just a teddy bear to decorate the space and also a surfboard that I just found on the side of the road and I thought it'd be a nice addition to the apartment just because it is a beachside apartment so I've got to make it look very beachy and fancy like that. And over on this corner, this is the corner I've been spending a lot of time in actually because for the first time I've had a proper dining table so I've got some flowers in there a candle and a lamp to decorate the space just because it just lines up perfectly with this sloping ceiling um i know this was an old house and there was um a staircase here which you would have seen out on the deck as well so they just covered it and it basically just left a sloping ceiling um but it's great because it's kind of like a little, little nook that i could just work in and study in um and edit videos in really um, and over here I've just got my key that I just got from Byron Bay and it says dreaming of the sea which is perfect and such a great little piece for this apartment because it is my first one bedroom beachside apartment um, and this just makes it official. <laughs> okay. okay, that's the bedroom. I'm going to show you the kitchen and bathroom area first. Um, and then move on to my bedroom later. So as soon as you come in, you see this odd space that's covered with a curtain. I don't have any dead bodies in there. It's actually a storage area. Um, kind of spooks me out sometimes, but yeah, it's just good because I have extra storage space um, in this apartment. And you'll see in my bedroom as well, it's got a huge space for all the space stuff I had to carry all the way here. Okay, so coming in the kitchen where the cooking magic happens, I've got my breakfast stuff here, um, all my teas and coffee and biscuits and stuff like that. Um, in this space, I had all these stands that I could put stuff in, so I put some wine glasses there, some mugs, um, cutlery on each um, stand. And we just actually got this fridge 
Um, it's a medium sized fridge and it fits perfectly in this space. And again, I have a full size fridge so I can freeze stuff in here. And I also have a ton of space down there as well for just one person. And that's pretty great. And over here we have a sink, a uh, drying rack, toaster, kettle, uh, my pan. We have a big pantry here, um, which has all my pots and pans, my plates, and my snacks. This cooktop is actually really old and you have to spark it with a button. And also the same for its oven, which was a bit tricky for me because I've never been in an old uh, apartment that's been renovated before. but. I think that just adds to this place's charm. I just think it's great that they left some pieces that they were old but also renovated the others. Um, and over here, as you come on, we've got more space for more of my kitchen stuff. And I have a full on laundry back here. And let me tell you, it's just so peaceful to just do laundry alone in your one bedroom apartment. I would just, you know, put stuff on play some music and it's very relaxing in that way and for the first time I'm enjoying doing laundry which is weird and now we're gonna go into the bathroom and then onto the bedroom coming back again on this side I've got a little bathroom the bathroom is probably the smallest space in this whole house so it will be a little cramped <laughs> so I've got my bathrobe just um, on the hook on the door then we have a sink I put all my toiletries under here with all my extra shampoo bottles and body washes as well for easy access. I've got some of the essentials up here as well. Um, two towels just in case and a toilet just here and a shower right over here. So nothing saucy is gonna happen right now, but yeah, just to show you the shower from an angle because it is very small. So this is what I have going on at the moment. Just a toilet here, a regular shower here. And yeah, it, it's good for one person. Just because it is a tiny um, bathroom, even more than my last apartment. Um, but yeah, moving on, we're gonna go into the bedroom where the actual magic happens. So going into the bedroom now, which is the most exciting part, at least for me, because I was really impressed at how spacious and um, practical it was. So here it is. This is my bedroom in this one bedroom apartment. I've got my tripod here. Um, there's a beautiful deck out there that's covered as well. And I just found these two stands on the side of the road the other day and they fit perfectly in this spot um, and I was able to put all my decorative stuff there um, which I'll show you right now. So I had a lot of candles so it was easy to decorate and put those on the stands. Um, I just got a diffuser here. I've got these colored pencils um, here which I don't really use but I just love the quote on them that says creativity is contagious, pass it on. Since I do creative stuff like YouTube it's important to decorate your space with inspiring stuff and inspiring quotes. Okay, so this is actually a moon lamp which I've been posting a lot on my stories and I just find it so fascinating <laughs> because it actually looks like a moon. Um, but it's just been nice to um, set the atmosphere in this room at night and make it feel very cozy. Um, and I've also got other things like that, um, like my John Mayer CDs. I love John Mayer music so it's just nice to decorate my space with things that I like. I've got my Polaroid camera there. Um, on my whiteboard there that says summer is here and I wrote that when I made my summer is here video um, and it's still here and fortunately summer is still here and I can go to the beach a lot which is good and as you can see I just put up my Polaroids as well so this section is all my graduation photos and farewell photos from back home and this is for my birthday getaway in Australia which was a great time and I just love displaying all these photos in an aesthetic way and as I was telling you there's heaps of storage in this bedroom um, you can see I have three doors for my closet um, which is heaps of space um, the couple that was living here made use of this space um, very much so because it is meant for um, his and hers but it's just 
for me right now, which is great. I've got all my getting ready stuff here, you know, my bags on this one, got all my clothes and my shoes lined up. So moving on to that side of the bed, I just set up my Google Home. Yeah, it's a great thing to have, especially when you're living alone in a one bedroom apartment because you know, you can talk to it <laughs> and play music and it just blasts music all over the house, which is great. So I'll do it now, actually. Hey, Google, play Energy by Tyler. Are you going to lie? that song a lot um and i've just got a very powerful fan up here which is great um i'm able to block sunlight with my curtains and this fan just works perfectly yeah it just keeps the room cool and i've got a salt lamp there that doesn't work but it's good for decoration um, i've got my tripod on my electronics and a diary there so this space is supposed to be a little messy because you can't see it as soon as you come in um but it's just practical because i've got all my electronics and charging um, leads over here. So right now I don't have curtains for this window or the other windows in the living room but I did buy these two jacarag curtains from Big W which work super well. They block out the heat and sun so nicely and I think blue was the way to go and I think I'll decorate my space with like beachy paintings as well in the future um, and I think that just works well that's the aesthetic i'm going for in my apartment which you can already see a little bit and i can just be dramatic like this <laughs> okay so outside um we just have a jam table right now with an art easel and some paints uh, i'm planning on pursuing my hobbies a little bit more in this space um so i've set up an art corner up here because it is really beautiful you can hear like birds chirping and to see all the greenery and I think it will be an inspiring spot. On this side we're planning on getting a TV but right now I just have a tripod and my Gold Coast bag which I bring everywhere as well and I think it looks very minimalistic, beachy aesthetic right now that's why I wanted to film it this early. Okay coming to you from the future I have made some adjustments in the living room space so I thought I'd give you an update before I sign off on this video. So as you can see, I have got a TV now, which is great. So I can lounge around on the couch and just enjoy some Netflix time. And I've also put up the mirror, which looks 10 times better. And for the major adjustment that I was waiting for all this time is a painting that I've just put up over the couch. I've been trying to find this wall art uh, for a month now and I finally found it uh, in one of the malls in the city. It's like a beachy waves kind of a painting which I really love and I feel like it reflects um, the vibe of this place so well with the surfboard being there and you know this painting and just being near the beach after all and yeah just getting the spirit of all of it. And I've also got some white curtains just for privacy and yeah it matches the whole aesthetic I think. That was all and I'll see you in the next video and I can't wait to create more in this space. See you next time.